Hello, hello again YouTube and I'm back with an update video. Um, this is uh, the completion of stage two of my micro uh, grid tie inverter installation. Um, what I had to do on the inside was obviously run the wire, the 240 volt wire, uh, into a load center. And this load center is actually tied into the output side of the Magnusign inverter charger. And what it is, uh, with the reason why I have this new configuration is because now my system is an AC coupled system. You can look on YouTube and uh, look up AC coupling and solar, and there's some really good videos out there that deal with uh, that explain AC coupling. There's a couple of companies that a lot that uh, have uh, inverter chargers that actually allow for AC coupling. And one of those companies is Magnum Energy. Uh, the other company is Outback. And there's a Snyder Electric and SMA. And you can only do AC coupling with inverter chargers, pure sine wave inverter chargers. Um, and for the, with these companies that actually have inverters that are designed to do AC coupling. So AC coupling essentially is a way for folks that have um, uh, PV array systems, uh, grid tied PV array systems without battery backup. It's, this allows them to actually utilize uh, uh, those grid tie systems with a battery backup. So in the event of a power outage, the grid ties will synchronize with the inverter charger and, <clears throat> and uh, you know, send power to those critical loads and also if you know you don't have enough critical loads but there's a, a more power than you have loads to consume it'll send it straight to the batteries there is one caveat though uh, in, a, in the event of a grid down situation the power uh, will go full blast to the battery there is no re it's not regulated meaning it'll be it'll, it's almost like a, it's like a bulk charge uh, constant bulk charge so you have to have something like a diversion controller if you got a lot of PV, like for instance, if I had 4,000 watts or 4 kilowatts of solar panels um, and I have a 4,000 watt Magnuson inverter, then that's a lot of excess power that would go to those batteries. So I would have to have a diversion controller uh, to, you know, when, once the battery gets charged, then dump, some, dump the excess power. But anyway, a AC coupled system, how it works is, okay, it, when the grid is active, meaning when the utility is active, the power comes in on the input side and it passes down, it goes through the Magnuson and then it passes through the Magnuson and it goes out to the critical loads. Okay, and I have these critical loads in the, on my transfer switch that's acting as a sub-panel. Okay, and then the grid tie, the my micro grid tie inverter will also see, feed power on these critical, uh, on, this in, on this load center on the output side and so it will also send power to the critical loads. And if, you know, this is when the grid is active, when the utility is active, and, you know, and then if, if I don't have enough loads to consume the power, then my meter will spin backwards. However, if the grid is down, what happens is the grid tie, the micro grid tie inverter will synchronize with the Magnuson uh, because the grid tie inverter will think this is a utility because it will, you know, this is gener will generate a 60 hertz signal. And so the grid tie inverters will synchronize with the Magnuson and through, again, through these, uh, through the output side of the uh, Magnuson, the output side into this load center, it will feed power to the loads. If there is, uh, you know, if, if the batteries need charging and, um, you know, this is producing more power than, you know, than I have loads to consume, that excess power will go to the batteries through the Magnuson in a bulk charge uh, fashion and it would charge the batteries. Um, in, in the future, I'll, I will get a diversion controller. Um, right now, I'm good to go because we're only talking about 400 watts and between the refrigerator, the freezer and, and uh, some other things like, you know, maybe fans or uh, computers or something like that during a power outage, I can, I can consume those 400 watts, I, I believe, with no problem. But anyway, um, so far uh, it's at night and I haven't, you know, tested the system yet, but I'll test it in the morning when it says the sun comes up. But anyway, all right, YouTube, I'll keep you informed. All right, take care.